Hello everyone, I'm Clean with Barbie. Couple of weeks ago, a guy sent me a message and he asked my help for his friend. He told me his boyfriend have a really bad depression. They started to clean his place, but they stuck with the kitchen. I totally understand why. But I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man If she don't love money She break hearts real fast I can't run When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets Honestly Can you keep it real Cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby don't be shy When I see condition like this, the first thing what I do, I spray everything with degreaser. I spray the absorbent and the oven. I want to leave the degreaser to sit a little and start to melt the grease. So the degreaser is working and I just started to wash the cabinets. What I used here, I used a simple dishwasher with some hot water, a strong brush and a cleaning razor. Let me tell you guys, I didn't think this kitchen is going to give me hard time. So I spent here nine hours and I still feel it's not professional. This is not that clean what I wanted, but simply I don't have more time to clean this kitchen. Oh yeah, Barbie, you forgot your hair and the degreaser is gonna start to burn hand of my hair again if I don't make a bun, so I just did. I was super excited about this job. Let me tell you guys, I have another video what I just wanted to show you, but on the week I could go to clean this kitchen and I definitely want to show you right now. Um, so this part I'm using a cleaning razor because it was a grease and unfortunately I couldn't clean with the sponge. So this razor is amazing. I really love to use it. It's a lifesaver. I got some question about if I make any damage and no guys I'm not doing because I know how to hold this razor. Okay, I think it's time to try to clean the absorbent and let's see how the degreaser worked. Really nice, amazing. Look at this. So the top was really easy to clean. As you see, it's just the grease is just melting. It's not necessary to scrub really strong or use a um, special or more degreaser. Beautiful. that hair no Shiny and white, I love it. Okay, so now it's time to clean this cabinet. I'm gonna use the same product like before. Little cockroaches came to check what I'm doing. 
I don't know if he like it. I mean, I'm just gonna mess up his place. So probably he he don't like me. Nice and clean. This is how there is the water after I washed two cabinets. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna Okay, now I'm gonna clean the top cabinet and top of the fridge. I want to show you guys I'm using more gloves and I have extra just because last time someone told me I'm using the same um, gloves for the bathroom and the kitchen and I definitely don't want you guys to think I really using the same gloves everywhere so I just show you the extra. This is how dirty is the water after one cabinet and top of the fridge. When you scrub a little bit and it's turning white, that's mean your degreaser made a really good job. So this is my brain, I calmly cleaning the observant and in the next minute I'm just whoop, I want to try to clean the wall. This is ADHD. Okay guys, so I was so so lucky here. Let me tell you why. As you see, I'm fighting so hard with that strong oil and grease and it's I cannot clean well. But the guy told me they have a machine, so I just use extra degreaser and let's see the machine. Yay! And it works so good. I never had a chance to try before and now I just knew I want one. By the way, many of you told me I should make an Amazon wish list, so I just did one and I will put the link in the description. No worse need here. Look at that. So beautiful white and I didn't have to scrub so strong. I love it. My brain again. Just try to clean the wall. And I'm like, oh okay, that's that's a great idea. Just let me try to clean the wall. So let me tell you guys, usually I'm not cleaning the wall at all, even if it's washable. The reason, if I see condition like this, I had to use a lot of, lot of degreaser and the degreaser is starting to melt the wall. And for this reason, and I used to touch, in this case, the owner has to call a painter if it's possible. 
We had an idea with my husband if he can paint for free, but unfortunately right now we cannot afford yet. I just try my best. I just actually try to clean the wall and it's not perfect. So still they have to call a painter or the super have to help them something, but it's a little better. The next step is the oven. As you see, it's not burned, it's only greasy, which is much better than burnt grease on the oven. And because I had a really good sponge, it looks like a Brillo, but not the Brillo, because this sponge is gonna be more stronger. And with that sponge, the grease just came off really, really easy. Oh yeah, what a nice color. So while I was cleaning here, the super just came up and he told me they're gonna change the countertop. And I told them they need to change the oven. So I just cleaned, but the oven is it's dangerous. I'm gonna show you later why. And I really hope they're gonna take serious what I said and they're gonna change it. Oh guys, and let me tell you something. I got a lot of lot of comments about I should use plastic wrap and I am never ever using plastic wrap. The reason is it's a really big waste. I don't care if I have to scrub extra 10, extra 15 minutes, but if I can have for, for our earth a little bit like I'm not using plastic wrap all the time when I see a dirty kitchen, dirty oven, I do it. So I don't mind my time. Oh, and this is a sponge when I was talking about it. It's not a real sponge, but I just call it a sponge. And I will put the name in the description. I have a dream about show you guys from the really great shape how I'm cleaning but it's not easy to clean and recording alone so I am so sorry probably one day my husband can come with me and he can record the point what I'm doing so that will be more satisfying This is one of my favorite part. A couple of video before, um, I just cleaned the kitchen and I spray with a strong degreaser directly this surface. And unfortunately, I made a little damage. I show you that. Um, so for now, I didn't use a degreaser here because I didn't want to make damage with the paint. You see the off, um, low, and then the numbers. It just it just came off. I hope you understand everything what I'm saying. I know it sounds dumb sometimes, but this is my English.
so I moved the oven because I wanted to clean the side and behind but I wasn't ready for this so what we can see bone cockroaches food and poop mice poop so this is when I realized they have mice and yes guys my mistake I didn't plug out the oven before I start to clean so it just shocked me not here when I I, don't, I I just simply don't understand myself why I just didn't plug out but I was fine with this until I started to use Comet and it got a little wet and it shocked me but anyway this wireless is really really old so normally if it's not that old and not missing any part of the wireless it can shock you but it just it just happened so I told to the super and he told me yeah because it got wet but this is not an answer so if something is old they have to change it So we all learning from this cleaning video and what did you learn today? Always plug out everything because it's gonna shock you. Okay guys, so I don't know what is that black spot. It didn't came up. Um, I think it's glue. So I tried so hard, but this is what I could do behind the stove. So with this cabinet, um, it means I finished one side of the kitchen and the other side is still waiting for me. And let me tell you, at this time I was here for 5 or close to 6 hours and I was super super tired because it's, it's just a lot of energy to clean a kitchen like this. And when I realized the, the other side is still there. I just I just wanted to cry even if I really like this job let me tell you when I'm working I, I cannot stop to eat because I feel I'm just wasting time so my energy was low and my motivation wasn't low but when you're hungry and when you're tired a little bit and you know how big job is still front of you that's a little hard and because I was alone so this is the other side Inside the cabinet, outside the cabinet, everything is still greasy. Cockroaches poop everywhere, so you have to scrub a lot. Look at the bottom part, it's so bad. And and the floor. The floor and the sink was... Oh, that was... It, it, it gave me a really hard time. I really would like to tell you guys every product what I'm using, and probably I'm gonna do it, my idea was I was waiting for for sponsors and they send me a lot of lot of mail but they only want to send me free sample from their product and of course show to my video and that makes a really good um, commercial for them but that's not really worth it for me so I'm just not doing that. Oh, but my dump head forgot. I just shared a Amazon wish list where I shared every product what I'm using because that's what I wish. So I can tell you I'm using Comet. Mm, what is the degreaser's name? 
Okay, I have to put that in um, description because Shuma something buggy Shuma something like this. Um, the barkeeper's friend powder, some microfiber cloths, dishwasher. Um, I think Clorox. So not not really too much stuff. That's that's more than enough, I think. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right then I'm I am so sorry guys because I just covered everything what you want to see but it's as I told you it's so hard to focusing on cleaning and recording alone it would be so much help if someone come with me and recording what I'm doing um, so yes I, I just try to change the shape and now you can see more a little bit sorry guys I have no idea what is that dirt in the sink I'm pretty sure it's um, grease and oil but it was extremely hard to clean and oh, I, I, I was really really tired and I almost thought like okay this is the first thing what I cannot clean well If you want to support me, support my job and help me to reach other families, you can do that. You can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Um, I share every link in description and every little help, even if we're talking about the dollar, it's a really big help to reach other families. Thank God for this cleaning resort, it's really lifesaver as you see again. I know guys some part is just amazing I'm long and I'm not really sure anything what you are interesting but I just want to show you how slow in the real time so when I made this video and this video is gonna be 30 minutes long what I recorded it was six hour so it's amazing long
and finally the last step after five five and a half hour I just start to clean the floor which means this is the last step and if I'm done with the floor I'm done with the kitchen I'm pretty sure guys when you're watching this video you can tell me um, I missed some spot or I didn't clean well something or or something just left a little dirty or something but let me tell you when you spend hours a dirty kitchen like this it's really hard to make a kitchen like a new kitchen so we have to understand this kitchen is never gonna be new I try to clean the wall but I'm not a painter and I can clean everything but not not the really old surface so for for that these guys need a little extra help Okay, so this is how the kitchen looks like now. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.